gone. Everything is gone. I honestly do believe this is the most extravagant trench network system I've ever done. This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Be sure to click on the link in the description to get this game for cheaper. Great Wall Western Front is currently available at £21.30 at the time of this recording. Brilliant game and is much cheaper than buying it from there. Make sure you get it, you can have the Victory Edition as well, which is also cheaper than there. The link is in the description, be sure to press it before jumping on the website. You will be given a Steam key code if you are using Steam, which you can activate really easily. Be sure to check it out. And as always, thank you. Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in once again. The war is nearly over again with our victory imminent. We have tanks, planes, infantry all along every sector of the front while the enemy struggle to hold our assault back. We smashed through Calais, took Hayes Brook and now we're going to just smash them even more from this area. The large death stack of all mightiness, 26 infantry corps, 7 Heavy artillery siege batteries, seven tank battalions, six elite infantry corps, and 13 German air wings. This does leave our other areas of the front significantly lower in terms of infantry numbers compared to the enemy. For example, down here, the regions have six, while we have three. But nevertheless, they still don't really want to attack, and if they did, I'm pretty sure we could hold them off quite easily. In terms of research, I remember unlocking this and the previous episode, which is going to be the biggest bomb you could do in the game. So in the next battle, I will be sure to use that. Might as well end this campaign on a bang or two, so we better make sure we do that. I do want some Flak Panzers in, just so that we can have a gander at them. In terms of other toys that we can play with, there isn't actually much else, seeing as we've only got a certain amount of time left before the enemy cave in. We could get better bombers, for example, or even some, you know, better intelligence, snipers maybe, but we'll be all right, I reckon. The ones I'm going to go for next are the potential of the Rolling Barrage, the Black Panzer one, and potentially even some more troops in to get more supply. Bit of a personal note, yesterday I had a bit of a day off because I had the 20 week scan for my first child yesterday. He is growing very nicely for those who are interested. He is going to be a chunky one. Feel sorry for the missus. As that's going to have to fall out of her at some point. Back to the game. We're going to have to skip the turn because we attacked and they're all tired. So let's skip a turn and see what the enemy do. They don't attack because they are absolutely done in. They have massed more troops this way. They've probably rejigged their line, but I don't really care that much. It'll be all right. We're going to go have a look at the unread events. Battle of Cantigny. I probably said that awfully wrong. Still new on the Western Front, American forces sought to reassure their French allies that they could be trusted to hold the line and prevent Germany from reaching Paris. The Battle of Cantigny <laughs> yeah, we'll have enough of that. Was the first independent battle that America took part in. While only considered a minor success, the Americans managed to push the German salient back a mile and thwarted all counterattacks thrown at them. However, I do believe 
the Germans didn't make it very easy. That's given us a minus 10 because the Americans are supposedly proving their metal in battle. We've got another one. Swift Iron. Destroy three Whippet tanks. Well, we'll see if they've got any around. If we attack here again, which we will... The enemy do have some tanks there, which we could have a fiddle with. Just so you know, once this campaign has finished, I will be following on with a Allies campaign starting in 1914 on Elite Difficulty. Elite. That's going to be a big one. Be sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss them. It will be very good. And quite the challenge. We can get the uh, flak panzer in just for giggles. Let's have a gander at that. We should be able to use that now in the next battle. And then we're going to go for either the rolling barrage or just get more troops in for the final push of absolute madness. I might even do that next. Just because we've got extra cash, we could see if the enemy have units around. They've got siege artillery, but no tanks floating. Should make things relatively easier for me. They do have more Americans on the way. That looks like two more calls arriving. British can't bring any more in, and the French haven't brought any more in, neither. They do have a very large numerical advantage over our troops, but nevertheless, we keep smashing them with our super death stack of doom. Let's take this one and get it over with. This reckons it'll be a stalemate, but no, it won't be a stalemate. Let's just go jump straight in. Not going to lie, I'm still waiting for the enemy to do a counter-attack. They haven't done one in a while, and they usually do this after I've got comfortable, and I think, no, they're not going to come, and then, bang, there they go. Off they go, and that's it. They've just captured a point, and I hate that. Must remain vigilant. This is the symbol for our flak panzer there. I'm not sure how useful they're going to be for us, but we can still have a go. This is what the trenches look like. We could upgrade them, but don't really care enough. Got all the forward positions that we did before. And various other bits. I can't remember if we did barbed wire here. It's been a couple of days since I actually recorded. I could manage to jump ahead. I'm pretty sure I'd have put barbed wire down. Or I might not have done just because I would have wanted more supply. But I think, I think it's all gone. Not even going to bother with the light artillery. Just going to go heavy. Because then we can blow them up and murder them all even quicker the enemy have placed some barbed wire over at b so we're gonna go and attack a instead this is our main firing area the center of the entire operation protected thoroughly we have eight heavy artillery Sections over here with plenty of machine guns in case the enemy get giddy. We also have Y, which has two infantry companies in there with MGs in it as well. Same on X, however, we will be launching our attack from this section, meaning we have lots more units. Got to make sure we have the grenadiers in because the enemy have tanks and these are fantastic at dealing with them. And then we have the Stormtroopers for singeing any resistance which remains before we attack. We also have the Tank Battalion. Five standard Sturmpanzerwagens A7Vs with a Flak Panzer there as well. First time we've seen one of these, trying to get a good angle on it, but the thingy's in the way. We will have a gander in a bit. If the enemy decide to attack Y or X, we can reinforce it easily with the comms trench we have right right around the back, which we can shuffle units across with ease, but I don't think they'll be getting that far anyway. We also have a rather large toy at our disposal, which should be very entertaining. Getting the balloon up in the air, the man is wobbling around and facing the wrong direction. But regardless, he can see the enemy very well. 
with some heavy artillery floating around there already. First things first, must be to get a balloon busting mission in. Let's get that going, plop it here, with some other planage in as well, as well as some bombing runs to hopefully take care of the artillery. We can bombard it ourselves, which we might as well do. Eight artillery batteries are about to open up on these two, giving them, give them a very nice time with lots of planage coming in. At the same time, they're not going to enjoy this experience, but that is their problem. Here are our aircraft all flying in. The balloon should go down quite easily. We need to do another loop around before it does go down. Their artillery is taking punishment. Hopefully the bomber can deal with the rest of them. The balloon is gone. It doesn't look... Well, about to go. There we go. It doesn't look like the enemy are going to use more aircraft to deal with our mass amount of planage. However, we do have a Whippet tank. We do need to destroy three of these, so that will be an added bonus if that happens. What's it aiming for? The artillery is still brilliant. We might as well get some more shells raining on the enemy in this direction as soon as they are ready to go again. Also found the British Mark IV NG tank floating around, which is another thing that's sure to get obliterated. Now the enemy are coming for a little gander, only for a scouting party. They are also going to get removed. Sorry Australia, I love your country, but you are going to get blown to bits. France, never been there, would like to go someday. They're not going to take very long to destroy the rem remnants of them. We have one... Oh, that's gone now. Two batteries remaining on this section, which I'm hoping the tank... Not the tank. The plane will do. Doesn't look like it is. So we're going to get another bombing run in there. We have another tank as well, which is another... Oh, no, that's the MG one. When we have the turreted one over here as well. Hopefully the planes... Oh, they are dead. Hopefully the planes decide to bomb the artillery and not the tank. This is a little bit of a problem over here. Lots of artillery is going to be pummeling this area. We're going to start thinking about moving the men in. They have tanks still roaming around. They're clearly they're not going to send any planes in, so we can hopefully bomb these to bits. Just like that, meaning they now have no artillery to speak of. These are not having a very good time. Lots of Australians being murdered. We can start thinking about getting the troops up. I'm trying to keep these in formation. Let's have a gander at them. I do wonder if the Flak Panzer can actually get troops on the ground with their weapon. It does appear to just be a cannon. Wouldn't fancy being that dude on the back of it, however. They'll just get shot to pieces, running over all of the trees which are firmly standing. It's a shame that they have to get gone like that, isn't it? The artillery is mostly gone. I can live with that. We can also start bombarding them a little bit more, so we might as well. Our bomber just destroyed the Whippet tank. I just saw it in the top left corner. There it is. Gone. Blown to bits. I do wish the bomber would attack the artillery though, which it is. It just needs another blob. We can start sending more over as well. Sending the men over. They are now having a gander. They're going to start approaching A. While we move in with the tanks to clear the initial lot out. We can get them on a side angle like this. Ooh, that mortar is not going to be doing us any favours. Hopefully we can deal with that very quickly it is currently a little bit suppressed they are the only thing that are dangerous to my tanks at the moment as you can see they are dealing significant damage doesn't appear to be any raiders here which is very nice for me we can deal with these as we keep going we're nearly losing a tank but we have just thoroughly cleared the entire area 
Got another tank on their approach. We can keep them occupied, hopefully, by having the cannons facing forward. The enemy may also reinforce from this section, so we better get harassment plane in. Should start seeing some combat here. This is the MG1. Not the best at anti-tank actions, but it is... Yeah, it's getting blapped. There we go. Tank gone. Excellent. Let's get rid of this tank. It is rather dented in right now. I have to get a replacement in. The harassment plane is shooting, so they must have reinforcements in already. Don't want to risk sending in... Why can't we see our men? What is going on here? Not sure, but we better make sure that we keep going up and onwards. Want to see that Black Panther do something. Doesn't appear to shoot the enemy. Oh, it does. They've just got cannons, though. Don't want to get too giddy. Oh, this should be funny. Are you ready for this? Are we ready for some toys? Ready. Boom! And everything is gone. That is lovely jubbly. Anybody that was there surely isn't now. Love it. That is a rather large hole. It may even be a little bit bugged, not going to lie, but it doesn't matter. Let's get some harassment planes in. They've just lost many men. And all these over here, we can probably even gas them out. Just because we can. They are raiders after all, and we don't like the raiders. They mm, destroy our tanks with ease. They also have some artillery there, but it does not appear that they have the resources to use it. We better make sure that we get troops over there, just to make sure we can clear that area out, while we send some of these guys in. Get them running over now, and we can start capturing that trench immediately. Also get some in that bit. These guys are having a bad time of it. Still being slapped. Not much they can actually do at this point. If they had raiders, that would be a different story, but they just don't. The gas has murdered many men over here. Just because we can, let's get some more gas in. These raiders are currently running into the gas, which isn't very recommended. All of these are now going to die as well. Clearly haven't had any chance to get some gas masks in, despite it being nearly a year since we originally did this. They do have units in here, which we are now early murdering. One question was, oh, they are asking if we want to accept a surrender. No, we will continue the attack. Continue attack. Troops are standing by and awaiting orders. The allies appear to be still holding their ground, awaiting our attack. Yeah, we're just going to keep going. I got asked, does the mustard gas murder anybody in the command trench? Well, we're about to find out. Hopefully, they won't get murdered in the process. But it does not appear so. That is quite annoying. Better get some troops over here. Because we're going to have to take this trench as well. These, we can just have one sat there. Or even one of these rear ones ready to go. Get them set up. And we can move these over happily without risk. Once the gas has dissipated, we can even begin thinking about murdering this. They do have a mortar somewhere. There it is. We can blow that up even, I suppose. I mean, why not? Can't be having it destroying our tanks now, can we? The Black Panzer is nearly gone. We can send it home real quick. Make sure it can't shoot anymore. That would be 
wonderful. We have grenadiers just there, which we don't want to get in range. Could just gas them out. I mean, why not? We've got the option there. We do have this over here. Did we get that other tank in? I don't think we did. We can get a tank in down here. Right there. When that arrives, we can then shuffle men in without risk of losing them. The Grenadiers do appear to be a little bit better at hand-to-hand -hand combat itself, so we might as well make sure it's these guys that are doing the running in. Clear anything else that is remaining down on that section. We'll start running men over because we can. Hopefully the gas would have dissipated by then. Lovely jubbly. There will be potentially units in here still. Raiders are not seen very well by the tanks themselves, so we better make sure that we get them in there. The tank is on its way somewhere. There it is. Once that arrives, we'll send men into their command trench. Get those out of there. And these as well. Shuffle them over. We found some hidden units in this bunker. We want to make sure they get eliminated. Doesn't appear to be anybody up here. We've got the harassment plane searching. Our tank is nearly in position. We want this over here because then our troops get the morale bonus, you see. Meaning we don't lose the entire lot from surrendering. That morale bonus does make a huge difference. As we cut them down to pieces, the enemy will give up before they run out. Which is good news for us. Let's just keep that in mind, as you can see. It's a little bit close, but they should surrender. Just like that. There we go, we have kept two infantry units available. Oh no, I made mistakes. Let's send these units down there. Just to deal with these things we have. Now these are in the trench. We should be good, but they could still have raiders, so these raiders of our own will make sure we see anything coming. Just that last one. Done. That is everything that the enemy has, bar from that artillery which is now also gone. I'm going to call this a win. The enemy are requesting to surrender again. We'll accept the surrender because it just saves us time. Or do we? No, we'll continue. We will continue simply because we're going to take down in a second and then we would have definitely won. Be careful of that. If you're going to win anyway, you might as well. There we go, another sweep in the bag. Don't think we lost too many. Just about a hundred and we murdered around 5,000 people. That sounds like a win to me. We cost the enemy 1,400 quid, which is about all the income they get for a turn. Morale has changed in our favour and we have taken the area. We're going to want to have a couple of units stashed in there while we potentially take Aris or Montreal. Let's end the turn. The enemy don't attack. We have lots of more money coming in with an unread event as well. Heavy rain destroyed three heavy artillery companies. Excellent, we should be able to do that relatively easy. The enemy are actually massing quite a few number of men around our sticking out area. They have reduced the troops they have on the front significantly down here, so we might as well take advantage of that by having more up here, which means we can attack even more. I'm going to have the main staging attack area in broy la bougie if that's how you say it, simply because we can attack four different areas from here, saving us money. We can have the field hospital, 
the airfield and the additional supply depots. We have three research points available, which could give us four, five, six new infantry cores, which would be excellent. Let's do that. Or is it four? We'll see two German. All oh, right, yeah. Let's get more troops in. These will all be. Hey, oh. Oh, we need this first. Are you joking? I don't think it's really worth it for me, but I might do it anyway, just to get more in. Might as well go for the smoke. Just because we've pretty much got everything else. Gonna move some units further up north, probably into Calais, and then we can have our massive death stack at Broy la Bizur. Fully intact. For example, all the way down here, they've reduced what they have in the area. So we can move everything up there. With our shuffling complete, Calais has now nine infantry corps, two air wings, and a tank battalion. And we have also managed to scrape, if not more units away from other areas, all into Broy la Bouzure. We can get the army intel involved so we can see what they have. Plenty of tanks floating around, aircraft which they don't seem to like using now. We could even go for Abviel and surround everything at Montreal. I think we'll do that. We'll end the turn again so everybody is ready. The enemy don't attack again. We have... Ooh, have they done a rejiggle? I think we're all right. Unread events. Tsar of Russia murdered. Forced to abdicate and imprisoned by the Bolsheviks, former Tsar Nicholas II was murdered, along with his wife, his five children, and their loyal retainers. Well, that's not very nice, is it? And the bodies were stripped and mutilated to prevent identification. What was left was buried in an unmarked grave. The Soviet government covered up the murders, leading to multiple imposters claiming to be surviving children, especially Anastasia. It wasn't until 2007 when all the bodies were finally identified using DNA evidence that the rumours of a survivor were put to rest. All of the remainings were dis rediscovered and re reinterred with a state funeral at St. Petersburg. While no evidence has been found to link Lenin to the murders, there is evidence that suggests he endorsed them after the act was committed. Well, somehow that gives us 300 quid and reduces the allies morale even more we have another one local black market in mit down there meaning the enemy could potentially have a gander but i'm not too concerned about this right now we have three more recent points available we might as well go for a rolling barrage and have a gander with that the enemy have lots of troops in abbeville abbsville abbsville yeah we'll go for abbsville Tanks and everything else. I'm going to actually get some more tanks in just because I can. Got our tank numbers back up to 10 now. We'll only have six available, but honestly, that's more than enough anyway. We're going to smash through this area right now. Yes, this is going to be a double battle episode. Apparently, it thinks it'll be a stalemate. The enemy have flamethrowers now. And raiders. Well, I have to be wary of them. They can destroy our tanks easily. This area we haven't had a battle in yet. The town is known for its wealth of prehistoric artifacts from the Pleistocene, uh, Pleistocene Plasticine <laughs> period. <laughs> That's so wrong. So much so that the town is credited. For the founding of the study of prehistory itself. Cool, that's nice. But look at all the supply, man. Mm. Look at all the companies we can bring in. Oh, 
600 infantry, 120 elite unit. This is just ridiculous. This map also favours us as well. This is not going to be a good day to be a Frenchman or a British person at all as we can get the artillery really nice and close. Currently there's nothing there but they will build some trench work. I'm going to build some of my own. First things first is to get rid of all the raft that it seems to stick around. I hate it personally. It doesn't fit with anything that I like to make. Yes, it may be three trenches down, but it's only two supply anyway. You might as well stick your own down. Just remember this town. There's not going to be much left of it shortly. I honestly do believe this is the most extravagant trench network system I've ever done. If you have a look down here, we'll have the standard X point. We've got some MGs in here and two infantries. Very similar thing over at the command trench. This is our tank formation that we're going to be playing with, with the Flak Panzer in here as well. And then you have this monstrosity. So all these are now collected up with a huge link down the center. With to, well, this, this is magnificent. We have the standard thing, which I normally do in the middle, with mortars covering the entire sections, two of them. We have, in case the enemy get giddy, this is quite a forward position, so they may attack from the side. We have some trench work aiming at that area with an MG directly facing outwards. Then we have the same on the other side, MGs facing outwards with our main attacking force hidden in these trenches just here, ready to go to get B. Now we also have six heavy artillery companies in and two lights all the way up the front here. Now I've done the bob standard here with an extra bit at the front which also arcs around with some barbed wire on it as well. If the enemy are going to attack, presuming it's going to be here, so we might as well make it a bit of a fortress. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight machine guns, ten machine guns just here. So that is going to be messy for anyone who decides to have a gander. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. It's certainly a bit more excessive than normal. Better get the balloon up in the air. The enemy do have tanks and aircraft, so we better make sure that we are ready. There's the Whippet tank. We've got a couple of bits over here. Some light artillery quite far forward. Some heavies at the back. We could bomb them. Grenadiers floating around. They have snipers. Better start sending some units over then, eh? One thing I'm not sure about before the explosions start is if gas will affect artillery batteries. So we might as well try that. I've got five batteries aiming at this artillery. Well, we have gas, which may do all of this. I don't think it'll touch it personally, but it's worth a go. Then we have the balloon, which is going to go down and everything else. We have our aircraft running in now. Lots of them. And the gas does not hurt the artillery. That is quite annoying. The enemy are bringing in aircraft of their own. Hopefully we will destroy them quickly, which we have. And the balloon busting mission can continue. Might as well get some bombing runs in, seen as the enemy have their artillery intact for now. We can't be having that. That's the balloon gone, so they're going to start sending units over. Start bombing off of this as well. Get rid of those MG nests and mortars. More than mortars, just because they hurt the tanks. Might even be an idea to bring the tanks forward, but we better get rid of this artillery first. Let's deal with that. Hopefully this will deal with the next lot. They have actually taken a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Might as well just blow them to bits and get some more bombers in. These artillery are going to do the job 
well hopefully it will smash the remaining batteries pretty good there's another one gone for example that lot is pretty much done as well they, they are sending a few units over French and British troops notice how they've got plenty of stormtroopers roaming around with the elite in them as well those elites we're gonna have to be careful of simply because they will have snipers in we do know full well that they are employing snipers in their attack which isn't very good for us here come more enemy allied planes better get some more superiority missions in and we might as well get a few bombers in soon as they now actually seem to work we could deploy them to murder this area as well might as well get them all on it if i can get this mostly destroyed we will be good reducing the amount of targets that the bombers have to deal with our planes are following the entente aircraft around we are murdering them hopefully they don't get the bomber that is the issue just needs to finish off their artillery instead of going for the emplacements ideally but they all need to go i suppose yeah it's another mortar gone the enemy are having a gander down here but only to get deaded Whippet tank is still floating around. The bomb is trying to go for it. The bomb missed, but it still damaged the thing, so I suppose that'll do me. Excellent. That is one of the artillery's gone. We've got two bombers floating around. Might as well hit some of these emplacements to stop the bombers actually going for the targets which we don't want them to. I think two might be enough with some light artillery on it as well that should be enough to murder that we can also hit these with the remaining ones we have with available giving the bombers an easier time of it those emplacements are gone should think that they will only go for that now they're sending units running around in the forest which isn't great for us we've got these running at our fort which are now also murdered excellent job they're running around for some bizarre reason i'm not too sure what is going on there regardless we're not doing too bad they have tanks just roaming around which are all half knackered by now we can just get another bomber in to finish that off and attack anything else it quite fancies well we have a look at this we can bomb these nests and the artillery the artillery not the artillery the mortars are a big problem they deal significant damage to our tanks if we get rid of them we're going to be having a good day now we can start thinking about getting our tanks further forward might come at them just from this area over here hopefully they don't destroy our own barbed wire that will be a nuisance we can stick them over there and see what happens we can get a harassment plane in just in case the enemy have our forests covered in men i don't really want to send the troops up yet because they've got lots of elite units here need to start dealing with them there's not many over here but they do have plenty on this section and the other there's one there there's a few in there we can get rid of them everything will be a lot nicer snipers are absolutely lethal don't necessarily want to gas them yet just because that's a lot of supply if we can just murder some of them the traditional way all will be well the artillery should probably do the trick don't know what the rangers and the snipers but it does appear to be all over the map these grenadiers are going to be an absolute pain as well they do significant damage to our tanks now if we can shuffle them forward hopefully they will get dealt with before the enemy get in range we could get an harassment plane in 
don't think it's going to do right much at the moment. They've just replaced those elite units with more elite units, which isn't ideal for me. We can start thinking about all this. Get a couple of harassment planes in, maybe. It might help. We'll just run them in. Here we go. They're in the go. Yeah. Destroy them first. Problem is, is that they're all on the um, wrong side of them. You can gas these out for the giggles of it. You might as well. You can turn these on their side slightly. They should murder them a lot easier. Just like that, they are gone. Keep moving these forwards. We have the gas in doing a wonderful job. I don't think the stormtroopers can murder our tanks very well, so we might as well just keep rolling forward. Dominating the entire area. They do have a tank. It is a cannon tank. Oh no, it's the MG tank, which is fine. Murder these. Tell them to stop. Where's that? There it is. And they should murder anything that remains. Gradually doing that. Wonderful stuff. We can actually start thinking about getting some of our troops up in this area. And start moving them up there. Hopefully... The gas would have dissipated by the get there. If it's not, then we're going to lose a few troops. Not ideal, but I'm not messing around for three days. Get them in. Hopefully they don't resupply from that area. While we're trying to get our troops in, I might leave one tank there just to deal with anything that might come this way. We have this, which could be a problem. But we've got several tanks all aiming at it. Yeah, that's done. But it destroyed ours. That's annoying. Need to call in another one now. We're going to have to plunk it down here somewhere right in the middle. It might take a little while to get there, though. Our flak panzer is still shooting at unknown objects. There's no grenadiers here, apart from at the back. We can bombard some of those. There's only 25 men there, but those 25 will destroy a tank in seconds. Can't be having that. It's the only threat currently to the black uh, to our tanks. They have some in here as well. Better make sure they don't get too close. Excellent job. Their enemy tank is rolling in. We're gonna have to deal with that shortly. We get our main cannons on the tanks. Aim at it. We should deal with that quite easily. There we go, it's getting hammered. That flank panzer is very good at anti-tank actually. That is nice. We've still got some units roaming around, but I'm not too bothered about them. We lost a few troops due to sniper fire. Not too many though, which is pretty good. Could gas some of these out for the hell of it. We've got lots of supply available. We could even just start bombing the area. Again, because we can. Let's get these units running around, murdering anything around here. Let's get some harassment planes and see how many people we can murder with the harassment planes. We'll get a couple of... Ah, oh, let's just go mental. I mean, why not, right? Get a couple of air superi superiority missions in as well. Just to help deal with anybody that is ever going to be a pain in the ass. Could deal with those if you wouldn't mind, please. Lots of planes running in. We can get these run over there while we are waiting. Ready to go. Same with all of these. We can leave one troop in the area from down here, since they're not going to be getting down there anymore. So we can move all of these troops in. They are sending units in, but they all are going to get murdered. We can even gas it out because we can. I mean, why not, right? These need to start shooting at the enemy because they've decided they don't want to do it anymore. I think there are troops in there. Nothing we could do about it, however. All of these are just getting hammered. 
We can make it even worse for them by gassing them out at the same time. Again, because we're very nice like that on this channel. Do we have any more heavies? Yes, we do. Got MG's gone as well. Anybody who doesn't survive the gas attack. Well, anybody who does survive the gas attack will be shot down, gunned down by lots of mortar fire. We can get those troops in there, send in a tank really quickly, hopefully, to give them that morale boost. Meaning they don't give up as soon as they start dying. Oh, that's a shame. They're surrendering. Let's accept it. Just because. Might as well. We've captured all the points. Excellent. Do another sweep in the bag. Murdered even more of the enemy. We lost 18 stormtroopers and one heavy tank. We made a profit while the enemy lost stupid amounts of money. More morale gone. They are down to 37. Heavy rain. We've done that so we get more supply. And everything else. Now, with only 37 left, I do think we can do that in one episode. But it won't be this one. This has already been an extended one. The next one should finish off the enemy. I hope you stick around for it. We'll go up in a bang. Please do stick around. I will be doing a Allies campaign after this on the hardest difficulty because this has not been a challenge. Stick around for that. Make sure you stick the subscription thing on so that you don't miss anything. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching. Cheers.